So now, it'll just take a while. and they'll, We'll stop every once in a while to talk to him. So what do you think of him so far? Ridiculous? Mm-hmm. I like <laughs> his eyes. I do think it's funny how, I mean, this definitely starts out like like the romance novels that I've read, mm -hmm. where they're just like, oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> You're so dumb and stupid. You're so dumb. I hate you. You're an idiot. You know? Because you can't start off liking each other, because then there's no build-up. Yeah, because then there's no tension. And you're not, like, sitting there being like, come on, come on, you know? Yeah. No, no, he's just like, I don't care about anybody. I'm a lone wolf, me and my wolf. I wear purple. <laughs> Bishop cocks his eyebrow at you. Oh, wow, there's a lot of choices. Nice knife. Is it even sharp? Where'd you get it? This deer here is a token I took from one bandit back in the day. I was seven. I barely learned to use a bow. Some bandits attacked my village, and, well, we fought them off. I took this from one of the corpses and killed the last bandit that thought I was just a lad, unable to make a quick decision. Oh, and believe me, darling, this deer cuts deeper than my words. Does it have any enchantments? No, it just cuts, princess. Wanna feel? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird because it sounds like very sexual, but it's also very creepy. Want to feel mine against your throat? <laughs> Want to feel mine against your throat? <laughs> Uh, do you want to do any, ask him anything else? What is it? So tell me, Bishop, how did you become a ranger? It was necessary to learn how to survive in this damned <laughs> world. Either survive or die. It's life, sweetness. And I had to learn the hard way. I love how he ironically calls you princess and sweetness, and you're like, but it's not ironic, is it? Yeah, see, that's another thing that, like, if a guy did that to me in real life... I would slap I would him. punch them in the face. <laughs> but in a fantasy setting, I'm, like, totally okay with it. Because in the fantasy setting, he's calling you sweetness and princess, like, ironically, like, pfft. But secretly, deep down, he's like, she's my princess. Well, but, <laughs> but see, the thing is, is that, like, in a fantasy setting, you're going into this, like, knowing that you want to get into a relationship with him. Whereas if you're at, it's actually a stranger, you're like, fuck you, I don't even know if I like you yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll do that three years from now when we're role-playing. <laughs> right. Did, Did you, you lose your family? Oh, no, he's a, he's an orphan. Uh, exactly. I was born to a family of hunters. It was often taken out for practice. The Reach taught me to always check my footing twice, and the cold northern regions hardened me enough to withstand the bitterness of the wind. I was hunting giants from the age of ten. You know, for sport. I had fun with my bow. Okay. <laughs> we traveled a lot, too, from place to place. Pretty nomadic. I watched and learned. One night, just decided to take everything I had, which wasn't much, and struck out on my own. Nice. So, even better, he purposely abandoned his family. <laughs> so he does he's his own guy. He's like, he's like, fuck that orphan sob story. I'm out of here. <laughs> he's like 10 years old. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, I like how he's like, I've been, I've been killing giants since I was 10. And you're like, okay, right, <laughs> sure, like, whatever. I think it's perfect. I'm just imagining him as a kid being like, yeah, I'm so bad. I'm leaving home! He's like, eh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. You've seen the world. You've seen the world, huh? Must have been nice. Nice? <laughs> Listen now, sweetie, there's nothing nice in this world. <laughs> the only nice things I can think of are a mug of ale in my hand and a warm fire. Mm-mm, you gotta get a butt cheek in your hand. A nice warm butt cheek nice in the other. Nice warm butt cheek in your hand. <laughs> the only nice things in this world is a book of mirror in one hand and a nice warm butt cheek in the other. Yeah. And not your own butt cheek, somebody else's. <laughs> I see. <laughs> What's with that response, ladyship? Sabercat got your tongue? Okay. 
Relax. You want to maybe share about your life story, since you were curious enough to ask about mine? I grew up somewhere else. Mysterious. That's all? Long story short, I'm sure there's more than that. You don't need to know. Well, I don't care. I don't know what kind of life I might have had if I'd chosen differently. Be proud of your choices, Bishop. They've made you who you are. I'm not sure if proud is the right word. But you've been helpful to me. Now it's time for me to give you a good turn. Whoa. What? You better watch your wording there, Ranger. A girl could get the wrong idea. Dream on, sweetheart. Though I must say, I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> now, before I get the wrong idea, I get back to what I was doing. What was I doing? The tension pills. Yeah? Something on your mind? Oh my god, he has... <laughs> you don't seem to trust anyone. It's, of course, the guy with trust issues. Are you as rude? Are you rude like this with everyone? Of course. Why? I waste time pretending to be someone else. The sooner people face the cold realities and harsh truths of the world, the better. Oh no, it's Stacy. Why pretend we're anything other than what we are? I've seen how you bite your tongue rather than speak the truth at times. Don't you get tired of having to pretend these people actually interest you? That you actually give a shit about them? Doesn't it frustrate you having to constantly submit to their fragile egos? <laughs> oh my god. Shut it, Ranger. There's plenty of gold to be had from it saving them as well. Playing hero again, I see. He's so cranky. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's progress the story a bit. <laughs> yeah. Marker. Wait, run. Uh. Oh, but so at the Ren Fair, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm partly telling you, but partly telling everybody else, because I think I already told you this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I got a calligraphied map of Thetis. It's not, like, too big. It's, like, this big, maybe? <laughs> damn it. Oh. Oh, you got it. But it's just, like, it's very, it's very pretty, you know? Like it's on, like it looks like it's on the uh, parchment kind of paper. Do you like my mods? To make it look like a Thomas Kincaid painting. What's a Thomas Kincaid painting? Who's uh, that? It, I, I'm not, I'm not sure it's like really worth it to explain. He's a painter that uses a lot of like bright colors in natural Citizen, paintings. I'm warning you, your presence is interfering with imperial business. Be I'm just enjoying the sunset, asshole. Sorry. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> no, let let tell me what it is. It sounds interesting. No, it's just a guy that uses a lot of like bright. He has a very like bright, distinctive style in like, nature paintings. That was cool. Now I know that. Yeah, um, and, but he's a very like commercialized artist, so he like sells a lot of prints. Like you know how some artists are like, no, I. Not saying that one or the other is necessarily good or bad. But there's some artists that are like, you know, I made one painting, that's all I'm doing. Blah, like, blah, blah. Like, there's one copy of it, I'll sell the original, that's it. And other painting painters, they're like, yep, I made one painting, and there's 150,000 prints of it, and I'm going to sell them at, like, the Hallmark store. Oh. That type of thing. I'm not saying that he sells them at the Hallmark store, but um, I'm going to look up his work so I can show you. As I've gotten older, I've realized that I like terrible art. That's fine. I'm going to show you. He makes very, like... See, this is like... Oh. Oh, oh I like it. Hey, now. Yeah. Why are there stormtroopers? <laughs> that, I think that that's like well. somebody else. That's a photoshopped image. Oh, okay. Do you see how it's kind of like very... We got a shield sister coming up. Sweet. She what, what is a shield sister? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters. Look at me! Look at me! And they show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Stop talking to her! Look at me! <laughs> Can 
I join? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. That's rude. If you go to him, <laughs> good luck. One time I went horseback riding in Arizona, in the Arizona mountains, and um, so we show up and this guy, you know, he's like, one of those guys is like, I have a horse farm and I'm a cowboy, whatever. Mm -hmm. So what he did was like, all right, look me in the eyes and shake my hand. So I did that and he's like, okay, I have the horse for you. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's just, yeah. <laughs> Some people just are like that. Mm hmm And, uh. But he also, maybe he was doing it as kind of like a. Uh... No, 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 no. He was good because he gave my cousin, who was a little bit more, um, less confident on horses, he gave her a mule because the mule knows what to do. Mm-hmm. So. Probably tests to see how, like, confident and... Yeah, you have to be assertive with horses, mm -hmm. so. Not, like, bossy, just, like, this is where we're going. Mm-hmm. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Whatever. So we're about to see some drama. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that? Ah, uh, here comes trouble. <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, wow. Got lots of choices. Daydream about Bishop. Okay. You wake up in the middle of the night realizing Bishop is watching you, fighting down the urge to look him in the eyes. This is you daydreaming about what yeah. it would be like. You force yourself to remain still, with your breath even. You hear the sound of his voice muffled, and strain your ears to try and hear. What is he saying? But the murmur is too quiet to make out anything except the surprise in his voice and the whine sounding like, can't understand. And need you more than I want you. <laughs> oh my god. What do you want? Let's tell him I bet I could, I bet I could shoot better than you. Huh. Did I just hear a frog croak? Oh no, it was just you. <laughs> Since we're playing pretend, I'll call you a prince. Well, that still makes you a frog. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Draw your bow and aim at its target. Yes. As you draw your bow, your breath, you breathe out and release your arrow. The arrow flies and strikes your target perfectly. Well. Go. Well, this frog just hit her target. Your move, Prince. I never miss my mark. Bishop draws his bow, and you see the muscles in his chest and arms rippling as he brings his arrow to his ear. Aiming at your target. <laughs> Show some cleavage to distract Bishop. You push your chest out, showing the tops of your breasts. <laughs> Bishop's, Bishop's eyes <laughs> flicker towards them as he releases the arrow, missing his target. What does that what does that look like? What does it look like to do that? Like Well yeah, I'm meant to do that. Well, that, you, well, I would assume just like. Well, like, did she just go like rip her shirt open and like kind of just like sh thrust him at him? No, you you just put your arms beneath him. Oh, I don't know how to be subtle, so. Yeah, you just put like you can push your chest out, and like, like that. Oh, the anime thing. The like anime the, thing. Like the, the anime, anime thing. The anime girls do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then and then you can like if or, if you're wearing a low cut top, you can see like the tops of them. That makes me the winner. Bishop stares at you in disbelief. You can't tell whether his eyes are filled with hate or awe or something else entirely. <laughs> Bishop, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, by Stacey, the... it's getting dark. Where Looks like I we should get to an inn. <laughs> and by the way, your ability to do that so is like completely that. dependent upon the size of your boobs. So, I can't, I, can't, I can't do that. What I was imagining was her like, just like he's about to do it, and she's just like, check these puppies out! No, you said like you stick your chest out. I thought she just like ripped her shirt open. 
Did it say that she ripped her shirt open? I don't know. Open? This is my imagination. Can I help? You're handsome. Let me know what you you're like, you're just Asia. like, no, Stacey, I'm reading between the, the lines. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I think you're a pest. We need two rooms, bartender. I only have. I think I can help you, you big man. Go so away, so Flea. Bartender, are you sure there's nothing else? Well, let me see. I have a small storage room in the bathing Down area, but it Ulfric, might be a bit uncomfortable with all the produce I've the got stacked in here. Death, we will drink I'll and take we it will with a reduced price for the inconvenience and the single room, both for one night. Can the single room be well secured? Yes. Beckons, we had a problem a few months back, so I put some heavy-duty locks on that door. But this land is ours, That's fine. and we'll see it wiped clean. You don't need the to sleep, that has sullied our hopes and our Do you have a bath? <laughs> we sure I ain't do. Done nothing. Water's still warm, too. Only been used twice. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you looking I at me? I can wash it back for you. I already told you to get lost, Flea. Maybe I should put you over my knee for being such a pest. Would you? I like it, Rob. Girl! Whoa. You're testing my patience, Flea. Um... Okay, then. Let me show you to the baths. Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something you need. I've got a hundred of these, so selling my produce is really the only thing I care about. And here we are. Enjoy your bath. And your single bed is in the bathing room to your right. Enjoy. No one's getting in here, not without making a lot of racket and waking up. I'd say it's safe enough. Grab your things. Let's get to that bath before the water gets cold. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the water's first. really used I'll wait twice. outside the door. All right, so we got to get naked and get in the bath. Hold on. We're in the bath. Okay. Get out, Flea. <laughs> Will you stop calling me Flea? I'm a thief. This is a, a local favorite, and... One of the first songs because you're I a parasite, heard. attaching Ragnar yourself to a body to make use of it for oh, food, protection, or whatever, until you move on to another to body, or are dead. caught and pinched to death. And the braggart did swagger and okay, his blade I get it. Told of old battles in gold you are what I desire in a man. And but then he went cool. quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when I he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... Consider it given. Now get lost. I make a good belly warmer. What? Whoa. Not interested. What makes her so special? She just is. Now get lost. <gasps> he had no idea we could hear him. Better. <laughs> get out of here now or die. Your choice. I just want to be with you. Why is she so thirsty? Wow. It's impossible. Now. Kind of respect get out. it though. I could be good for you. She just wants to fuck! <laughs> you come into this room again, I will slit your throat. Fine. Just go then. She's like, God, I am so fucking DTF, and you just don't get it. And he's like, no! I'm a, I'm for one woman who I just met, and I definitely need to protect her. It's one of those things where, like, we're not supposed to be able to hear what's going on, so then we truly know that he cares. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, what this happened? This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Uh, girl seemed quite taken with you. Must be my animal magnetism. Once was a hero mm. named Ragnar the Red who came riding to White Run from Old Warwick Stead. And the Bragnar. <laughs> the only thing irresistible from me right now is to rearrange your smug face. <laughs> but then he went quiet. You're not going to tell me what happened, are you? No. So <laughs> you can just say, tell me. Ah, being nosy isn't very ladylike. Not a lady. Yeah, who said it was a lady? <laughs> so you tell me what happened? No. <laughs> Bishop! Wow, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were the jealous one. Duh! That's like, oh my god. She came to you when I was in the bathhouse? Yes. Well, get lost. Thank you for your permission. <laughs> Go away. 
Hey! I'm so mad at you. Oh, I like this bath. Nice tavern. Your first time, huh? Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about this place. White Run, home to some of the best taverns in Skyrim. What do you say we open a few flasks and drown them in wine? Okay. Ooh, can we flirt with him? Find any of these tavern girls to your liking? I have my eyes trained on a better target than some flea-bitten tavern wench. Oh, what target is that? Mm. Are you telling me you prefer a woman covered in the blood of her enemies? Mm, not a perfect woman, is she? More's the pity. What? I don't... I, what, did, what did he... I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Something on your mind? Let's see. His undershirt has been sticking out of his armor for a while, and it was driving you insane. <laughs> you angrily stared at the stubborn piece of cloth, which did not know its place. You stepped in front of him, stopped him on his tracks. You reached over and stuck it back into his pants. When the tip of your fingers made contact with his hot <laughs> skin, it instantly sent violent bolts of electricity to every nerve ending in your body. It was then you realized that you were doing, and it might seem like you... And what it might seem like, you surely raised your eyes to peek at his. He was staring at you with dark, with darkened eyes. <laughs> you swallowed slowly and licked your lower lip. The corner of his lips slowly drew upwards, <laughs> showing the tips of his canines. For all the divines in Dedra, this man was a true predator. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Abruptly, you tore your eyes and hands off him and started walking away with reluctant purpose. You would need to jump into the sea of Dawnstar to cool yourself off. Off of what? Of okay, that you, you were sure. Uh, hold on. <laughs> let me just. Let me just. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do? Oh, because we're, we're crouched. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Bishop looks into your eyes, his golden orb stared directly into your soul and addressed you with every passing second. Mmm, observe Bishop. More and more you find your eyes drawn to him, to his messy hair, the perpetual stubble on his chin, those beautiful wolfen eyes, and most, most of, all, of all, those tender lips. Though there was something vulnerable about him, and you wondered why you had never seen that before. Perhaps because mostly, when you look at his face, you could only see those strange eyes. There was nothing vulnerable there, but they were, for they were the eyes of a predator. <laughs> when you looked at, okay. Don't make me force you. Whoa, what? Weird. Bishop tightens his shoulders, seeming pleased with the compliment. He gives you a small smile. Oh. Mm, I wouldn't mind I might a bite or two of that sweet body of yours. There's a much more pleasant way for me to get inside you. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on a second. Oh yeah. Don't you dare do that again, wench. Slap Bishop again. <laughs> yeah. One more time, and you may not live to regret it. Bishop grabs your raised hand and twists it back behind your back, pulling you against him. So, so you like it this way? <sighs> no. No, I don't. Bishop pushes you off him and coldly walks away. Once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to White Run right. from I like his uh his voice actor. And the braggart did swagger and It's tough to get a good you know yeah. voice. I, I don't want to go straight into the like I want it to like slowly build up mm -hmm. you know so I have a blister on my hand Bishop grabs your hand you wince from the pain but you in instantly feel the relief of his strong gentle fingers start to massage your palms the pain starts seeping away into only a small throbbing removing a small herb from his pouch he takes out a few leaves and starts to rub them on your blisters, a slothing sensation replaces the pain on your hand completely. <sighs> Bishop, will you pop my blisters? 
Oh, so sensually. That's, that was a sensual moment where yeah. he popped my blister for me. And... No, he was mis- he was rubbing it with herbs. Yeah, but he just popped them for Not us. Not everybody is like you and <laughs> likes to watch zip-popping videos on YouTube. <laughs> I watch Dr. Sander Lee. <laughs> All right. Let's rest here. I'm going to sleep. Or do you know, I'm going to bathe. I'm going to bathe. Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Want me to join you? Whoa. Let's bathe together. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm looking forward to that. Whoa! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We gotta get in the tub. <laughs> Come on, Bishop! He just gets naked. I don't know why you're though. I think you're supposed to roleplay after that. Tavern. I could use a drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, dude. Go for it, dude. <laughs> Wait, maybe. Okay, let's do some. Hold on. What? I'm. Uh. <laughs> we're role playing, so I gotta. Um. Okay. Animate selector. Animate person. Okay. Oh boy. Foreplay. Kissing. Kissing. All right. What? Whoa. That's a weird kiss, but okay. Whoa. Where'd he go? These are... See? We did it. Wow. And boom! Close back on. <laughs> well, like, okay, so the person who made this mod, they're working on the animations. Yeah. But she hasn't put it in yet, so I'm like, all right, I'll make my own animations. <laughs> yeah. So I'm doing my best. I'm sorry if it's like no, 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 no. That's fine. I think it's I think it's very amusing to like. I think if the if the animations were too good, we would both be sitting there like, I need to leave. No, I, well, but you know what? We say that. I think that we were awkward about like the first time that we accidentally watched video game porn together. I think now we're like whatever, whatever. It's we cool. watched Fifty Shades of Grey together. Okay? Yeah. Well, I think, like, it's really weird because, like, you're supposed to watch that with other people, I think. Because, I mean, the people went, or whatever. To the theater. Yeah, they went to the theater together. Where is he? Oh, there you are. Hey. Okay, so. Uh, Alright, let's go talk to that lady. Hold on. She gone? Oh, here she is. Hey, bitch! Just leave me alone. She's really hot, though. Yeah, but uh, I love how she's just like, hey, hey, you wanna fuck? You wanna fuck? No. I can do better than her. It was such like just a... Just leave me alone. A fan fiction moment, mm-hmm. or like one of your teen fantasies. Mm-hmm. Let's be real. We all had that teen fantasy where like You're somebody else was trying to get you. your girl. Had, guy. had I every see. teen fantasy. I wouldn't... I, I mean... I think I think it's I think your fantasies like are like completely out of control when you're a teenager. But you know what? And then you you get older and you realize you can just do all of those things. Or you can get older and you don't feel ashamed. Yeah. Of having so those they're not like anymore. fantasies uh, in the same way. You know. You can do all of those things, or you can't do some of those things. But you think about it in your head, and you're like. This would never happen, and it's stupid, but nobody's gonna know that I'm thinking about this. Yeah. But I can think about it as much as I want. I can read all the fan fiction I want. Mm hmm. I'm not gonna do the main quest line, I'm just gonna do what I need to do for this guy. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So All right, so we gotta go get this, get this guy's wolf. So, uh, because he's a wolf man. Wolf man. 